Hello and welcome. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a conditional, in other words an if statement, in PHP. So I'm going to start with just a blank document here and I'm going to have an opening PHP tag and I'm going to immediately head on down and close it. And I'm not going to put any uh, HTML constructs in this because I'm just trying to illustrate a concept. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call that variable grade. And I'm going to assign it a value like 95. All right, because I do my homework. Um, notice that there was no syntax for declaring the variable. I just indicate that I am declaring a variable by basically putting a dollar sign in front of a character. All right, so it's grade. Its type is an integer, although I did not explicitly indicate that. The idea that this is an integer means this is an integer. If you're confused about that, watch my last video. On to the control structures. So I am going to write if my condition's going to go inside some parentheses, and then I always do curly braces. These curly braces are optional if you only have one line that goes here. My condition is going to be if grade is greater than or equal to 90. Notice that might be a new symbol to you if you're new to programming. If you're not, it's always that symbol. Um, so if grade is greater than or equal to 90, and I'm also just going to ignore the whole world of pluses and minuses, because essentially we don't need to go there for this example. And I'm going to say that if grade is greater than 90, which it is, I want to echo out A. This is a statement, right? I can put a space here or not. Every statement ends with a semicolon. Notice that this is not a statement, so it doesn't end with a semicolon. These curly braces are optional. If you only have one line within your condition, then you do not need curly braces. However, if you have more than one line, then you do need curly braces. So I always use them. And then, of course, there's the style issues. You'll notice a lot of people put their curly brace there. There's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer them up there, right? And so that's how I do it. It doesn't matter at all. So I'm saying if grade is greater than 95, then we're going to get an A. Then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to make a mistake, but I'm going to fix it in a minute. And I'm going to write another condition. If grade is greater than or equal to 80, then I'm going to echo out A, B with a semicolon. I'm going to run this, and let's see what it does. So I control S, save. Add it over to my web browser. Oh, I was messing around earlier. And I get A, B on the same line. All right, so one, I probably should have put a line break after the A. But the other thing that I'm noticing is, oh, it looks like I got an A and a B. How is that possible? Well, let's look at our code. So my grade is 95. So these if conditions get evaluated from top to bottom, left to right, just like you would read a book. I get here, and I see that grade is greater than or equal to 90. And so it prints out an A. Then I go down here and I see that grade is greater than or equal to 80. And it is, right? I mean, I didn't really want to get here, but I did. And so with, what the mistake I made is I made if, independent if statements. Each statement or if statement can only have one if clause. And if you want related statements, I'm probably making this harder than it is. What I really want to do is an else if. All right, this ensures that only one of these can be true. It's possible that none of them are true, but certainly not both of them. And if I do this, this is kind of the answer to some of my problems. Right, I head over here, I refresh, and now I'm only getting an A. So let's understand how this evaluates. Remember what I said from top to bottom. So it evaluates this, and this is a condition, and it's Boolean, and it's true. So we print out an A, and else if indicates, hey, if this was not true, then we're going to have a look at this. But in the case that this is true, I'm done, right? And I essentially skip down to the end of the block, and it's all over with. And when I had it as a separate if, it was evaluating this, then it was evaluating this. So while that is kind of confusing, uh, you have to understand how it works. A real novice mistake is that sometimes people go down to this second condition here, and they do an and. So, so, and basically, since there are no compound inequalities in programming, you have to say something like, if the grade is greater than or equal to 80, and you know, grade is less than or equal to 90, right? Because essentially, that is what we're looking for here. It's a range of 10 percentage points. But I'm telling you, you don't need this part because you've already checked it here. It's implied that if you've made it this far into your if block, that you've already eliminated everything that's above 90. So I'm saying you don't need this. It's not wrong. It's just a waste of your time. And so let's 
continue with this just a little more. I won't talk nearly as much. I'm just going to say else if, and then my condition here is going to be grade is greater than or equal to 70. Notice I keep, I just put in the braces and the uh, parentheses whenever. Echo, we'll do a C, semicolon. And this isn't going anywhere else. I'm going to say uh, at most higher institutions, right? Anything below a C probably doesn't count. So I'm just going to say else, right? No condition here. Else implies that there is no condition. And if you get below 70%, I'm going to echo out fail. Right, sure, there's D's, there's F's, there's all kinds of other things out there. But what I'm saying in this example, lower than a C is just you're going to be retaking the course. And so let's talk about how this goes. Notice that I have two else ifs. I could have one else if, I could have two else ifs, I could have no else ifs. Right, and sometimes you don't, so you could have as many as you wanted. Really, as long as you've got conditions to check, you can have as many else ifs if you want. But you can only have one if, and this is essentially the beginning. And the else clause, you do not have to have an else clause. So it's kind of like the else ifs. But the deal with the else is you can only have one of them. Right? It's your catch-all. And sometimes you have these, sometimes you don't. All right? And so this is going to work OK, uh, I would think. It's probably worth saving and running to make sure that I don't have any egregious errors staring me in the face. That's a good indication that I don't. Let's. And the cool thing about writing code is you know where it's going to break, if it's going to break. And so I like to test the seams a little bit, particularly if I'm not sure how this thing's going to work. So like 90, right? Is this going to evaluate correctly? Well, that didn't tell me much because nothing changed, but I think it worked. Let's try out a 70. All right, let's see if something bad happens, like we get an A. I refresh. I have a C. And then let's try something like 69, right? So just one below our cutoff point, and let's see if we get a fail. So I switch it on over to Firefox, refresh, and I get a fail. And at this point, I think everything's working. I mean, it's always fun to test things out. What if we assign it a string value, right? This is kind of a weird one, like harp, which doesn't make any sense at all, but OK. I save, I refresh. And I guess if, if you have completed a semester of school and your grade is a word, I assume that probably means that you fail, uh, right? You think about, so this is a string at this point, and a string is implicitly getting converted into an integer or a double at this point. It's going to be zero. And so I guess that kind of works. At least it didn't crash. I like that. Anyways, that's if, else if, and an else, right? So you can have, you have to have one of these. This is optional, but you can only have one, and you can have as many else ifs as you'd like. I'm going to try to pick up with this example and illustrate some more things. Thanks for watching.